We're at Belfast High School visiting with Bill Burr, their girls' basketball coach, and you guys had a great year. It finished 14-7. and seven. Yeah, you know, it was a good season for us. Um, kind of a different start to the season this year, you know, with all the bad weather that we had. Uh, had a couple games that we had to postpone for them and reschedule, and, and it kind of threw our schedule off a little bit. And, and uh, you know, early we had, uh, we had some games that we ran away with and, and uh, uh, weren't very close, and I think we picked up some bad habits early, and, and we had to uh, readjust, you know, towards the end of the season and, and, uh, and take care of those bad habits. And, and I think we carried a few of them over into the playoffs with us. Um, you know, you go back, look at the season. We had some big games late. Um, you went up to Bowman. They were only one loss on the season. Uh, a really good ball club. And we played them really close. We had a chance to win that game. And, and then I think of our trip when we went back east to, to the Corn Palace. And we played uh, Flandreau. Uh, had, had a really good ball game there. I, I thought we had a chance, you know, in, in the fourth quarter there. Uh, kind of things slipped away a little bit. But we had a chance to win that one. Then the next day played uh, Florence Henry, who's a really good ball club, um, played them close, uh, lost by, by five, um, had a chance there at the end. Uh, and then you turn around, you know, like Red Cloud, STM, um, Rap City Christian. We, we, we were in all those games. We just couldn't get over the hump with them. And um, that's too bad because of great, great quality of girls that we had. Um, they've been working hard, and, and I just hate to see it end that way for them. But... Uh, yeah, a good season when you look back. We had some, some good wins and, and a lot of fun, and the girls worked hard. Great kids. Coach, who were your leaders with the team this year? Yeah, you know, you look at uh, just start, start with our senior group. Um, Chloe Crago, tough kid, uh, and I'm sure she probably leads the state in charges. Uh, she took another, I think, seven or eight this year. She had 11 two years ago, and she took nine last year. And um, Just a tough kid, works hard underneath and, and gives you everything she has, and then Dylan Stadilly, uh, great defensive player. She always gives you everything she can and, and uh, worked hard for us. A lot of fun to be around. Gracie Cluton, just just an athlete. You know, she gets up and down and fast on the court and, and rebounds well for us. And Tia Williamson, uh, you know, she's a load on the bottom for us. She she rebounded well and tough to defend down on the bottom. And, and then uh, we also had uh, Lily McCarty, who came over from Spearfish two years ago. And, and she was a big contributor to us, you know, last couple of years. Um, good hands out front. She was quick. And so, you know, the senior group, uh, yeah, we're going to miss them. But we got some great juniors coming up and some under uh, younger kids. You know, you look at Sloan Young. She gave us great, great uh, effort off the bench. Matea Ward became a starter for us. And... And, and one of our top leaders for scoring and rebounding, and Matea's a great kid, another great athlete, gets up and down the court and works hard, just gives you everything she has. Reese Larson, she came off the bench for us. She really came on towards the end of the season and, and gave us a lot of effort, and, and she's quick, and I really like what we see, you know, with her and, and uh, them other juniors. And we have Annika Main coming up, and... Sarah Jewels, you know, they'll help contribute next year for us. So uh, off that junior class, and, and then you look down even further. We've got some some sophomores that are pretty solid. Uh, we got some size coming up. Um, really excited about Lily Nori. Tall, she shoots the ball well. Um, been working on her speed. Uh, she's going to be really good for us. And and um, Peyton Staley and Bailey uh, Moki, uh, you know, some size there. So. We're excited about next season. So, you know, they hate to see this season end like it did, but uh, um, we're looking forward to next year now. Coach, what's the key to having a great team every year? And you guys do that here at Belfouche. Well, first it starts with the kids. You know, the, we, we got such great athletes over here. They get in the gym and they get after it and they work hard. And um, we've kind of had that uh, the last, I don't know, eight, nine years, the, the girls get in here and work hard and, and we bring the lower kids up and they get to watch and see how hard they work and, and I think that contributes to it. You know, again, a lot of that goes back to just the athletes themselves. They, the, the kids over here, they're, they're just great athletes and, and we've had a lot of luck with them. And, and, um, they, they come in, they work hard, great attitudes and, and they've, they've got that winning attitude. They, they want to get better all the time and, and it gets a little bit contagious. and. And hopefully it stays that way and, and just keeps, you know, building with it. Uh, Coach Burr, always great to visit with you. Yeah, you guys too. Appreciate it. And thanks for all that you guys do.